Hey what's good, I'm Sadia. Quick shout out to Michael from the Elgato team for sending over the 4KX capture card to check out. This video isn't sponsored, but they did send me the product, so let's see what you can do. I'll unbox it, set it up, and see what it's all about. The name gives it away, but it's capable of capturing at a 4K resolution up to 60 frames per second with HDR10. This basically means deeper, more vibrant colors, and ultra sharp image clarity. Perfect for next-gen consoles or high-end PC setups. It also offers ultra-low latency, so you'll get pretty much a near instant pass-through with zero noticeable delay, exactly what you want if you're streaming fast-paced gameplay live. All right, let's unbox it and we'll talk specs. As soon as I've opened it here, you can see a link to elgato.com forward slash download, which we'll get to a little later in the video. There's also some illustrations showcasing the steps to set up the capture card, super simple. And then of course you've got the capture card itself with the Elgato logo on the front. You'll also notice the ultra high speed HDMI certified cable sticker here, so you know they mean business. The capture card is compact, it fits right in my hand so it's small enough not to take up much space in your setup. It's got a dedicated 3.5mm line level audio input, so if you want to include party chat from a console or music from a mixer or audio interface, this makes it really easy to do so. We've got the serial number and some not so interesting info at the back. Flipping to the other side, we can see that it has a HDMI 2.1 interface which supports the following, as you can see on screen right here. So you can play games at ultra high frame rates and resolution with zero lag whilst you're simultaneously capturing at high quality. But don't worry, if your setup doesn't support HDMI 2.1, it'll still work because it's backwards compatible. You just won't get the full performance and will be limited to the supported resolution and frame rate of your device. It's got a USB 3.2 Type-C port which supports speeds up to 10 gigabytes a second. That means fast and stable data transfer which is very key when you're capturing high bitrate video. And yes, it's backwards compatible too, so it'll work with older devices. But truth be told, if you're looking at getting the Elgato 4KX capture card, then you've probably already got a compatible device to make full use of it. And both cables included, the HDMI 2.1 and USB-C are braided, which not only feels premium, but helps with durability as well. So that's the unboxing complete. Now it's time to set it up. I'm going to be using it with my Nintendo Switch, but it's also compatible with almost every console and device out there. That even includes your smartphone with the right adapter though. Elgato show the setup inside the packaging, but they also display it on their website, which is very useful. So you're going to need your laptop or PC. This is to capture the gameplay. I'm using my Mac. You're also going to need the capture card, of course, the HDMI and USB-C cables that came with it, and the console, in my case, the Switch. You'll notice the setup shows a third cable, the HDMI out. This doesn't come with the Elgato 4KX capture card, so you'll need to source your own, but if you've got a console, then chances are you've already got one. I don't have my Switch connected, so let's get that powered up. Um, then we're gonna grab the USB-C cable and plug one end into your laptop or PC. I'm connecting it to my MacBook, and then the other end will go into the USB-C port on the 4KX capture card, just like that. And then we need to hook up the HDMI cable, the Elgato one that is, into the HDMI import and the other side needs to go into your console or smartphone, basically the device that you'll be playing games on. Okay, so, so far we've got the USB-C going into the Mac and the HDMI in going into the Switch. The last thing we need to do is connect the HDMI out cable. So one end will connect to your TV or monitor and the other end will go into the HDMI out port, just like this. Nice and easy. Switch is on, TV is on, and when I turn my MacBook on, this popped up. It's recognized the capture card, so I'm gonna hit allow. Now you can capture in two ways. You can download Elgato software by going to elgato.com forward slash download, and then you can filter by system, choose Mac or Windows. And then you can scroll down and choose the software that you want, or you can filter some more. You can see 4K capture utility is available for Windows, but not for Mac. So us Mac users will have to use OBS to capture, but you'll still want the capture device utility for firmware updates. Go ahead and hit download, and then once it's downloaded, just open it. 
Immediately, you'll see the capture device pre-populated in the drop-down because it's connected. From here, you can update the firmware and tweak some of these settings if needed. So since Elgato doesn't have a capture software for Mac, I'll be using OBS. I've previously created a video on how to set this up, so be sure to check that out and follow the step-by-step -step guide. The link is in the description below. Mine is already done, but I need to change the device. So if I double click here, I can select the Elgato 4KX and now you can see my Mac is displaying the switch content, mirroring the display output of my TV. Straight away, you can see that there's absolutely zero lag. When I move left or right on the controller, you can see it move both on my MacBook and the TV at the same time. There's no delay whatsoever. But let me play some games and show you it in action. Yeah, I know, I really need to get some new games, but let's work with what I've got right now. As you can see, the image quality is crystal clear. This is 4K60 HDR in action, and there's absolutely zero input delay between the Switch and the MacBook. No drop frames or delays, making it perfect for content creation or live streaming. And that's the Elgato 4KX. It's easy to set up, delivers amazing quality, and it's packed with features that really future-proof your setup, including 8K pass-through support, which is amazing, but it'll be even more so amazing when 8K display becomes the norm, or in other words, affordable. If you're serious about streaming or recording high quality gameplay, then this capture card absolutely delivers. But if you're more of a casual creator, then you probably want to consider a more budget friendly option because this is definitely a very premium product with a premium price. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.